G'day. I'm Richard Feidler here at the Egyptian Pyramids. Tonight, during the awards ceremony that you're about to witness, we'll be tracing the history of the internet through its prehistoric origins in digital culture. Lousy Egyptian plumbing. But before we get started, we need to establish a few ground rules for tonight. Get out of it. For that, we've managed to unearth the Ten Commandments of Internet Awards Ceremonies. These were handed down over 5,000 years ago by God. That's right, Bill Gates himself. Unfortunately, there's been a few bugs, but there's been an upgrade. So, what you'll be getting is actually a scaled down version called Ten Commandments 98, which promises ten, but only delivers five. Thou shalt keep thy speeches short and to the point. Thirty seconds is fine. Thou need not thank thy husband, wife or partner. We assume you've already done so before you accept the award. Thou shalt not get completely wrecked on the free booze. Otherwise, you'll then dribble all over the nice award, making a damn fool of yourself in front of your colleagues. Thou shalt not wear Mr. Spock ears while accepting an award. This isn't a tricky convention. And finally, thou need not accompany thy acceptance speech with a PowerPoint presentation that's completely unnecessary under the circumstances. So, now that we've got that out the road, sit back and enjoy tonight's ceremony. <laughs> and hey, have a great night. Goddamn bugs! <laughs> Can be found in this early example of a graphical user interface. Note the use of icons, texture mapping, and an ancient IT manager snaring a company executive in a web of deception. Then, in ancient Greece, a group of intelligent young men with no girlfriends formed the first program language. This language had no letter R in its alphabet, and so they were known as the ancient geeks. The ancient Egyptians developed the first virtual reality game in 1871 BC. It was called Doom. Where's the blue suit? Doom. The forerunner to email was the relay transfer of written messages from one person to another. As it was first used by the Persians, it became known as the Persian to Persian call. The communications world was changed forever, 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 forever. The general public got its first taste of digital culture way back in the 70s with the emergence of something so wild, so intense, it revolutionised our entire way of life. They called it Tennis Pong. Our lives would never be the same again. go round and a global network of computers made the money go round. No, 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 no you stupid bastard. Sell the Aussie dollar. It's stuffed, mate. It's down the toilet. No, it's trading at 95 cents US. Crack, hang on just a sec. Yeah, no, no, Jono, sell all my BHP and, in, in, no, listen to me, and invest a lot in Quintex. Mark my word, son, Christopher Scase is here to stay. Thanks, Dal. You're a big spunk. <laughs> but behind.
behind the scenes, in the bunkers of the US military, people were harnessing the digital revolution for the service of their nation's defense. All right, we'll stop it. Okay. remember now but there was a time when business presentations were to be perfectly honest a little boring then computer graphics hit the streets in the mid 80s and along came a little thing called the PowerPoints presentation and so everyone as you can see in our exhaustive study of employee time mismanagement an astonishing 27 hours a week is wasted on the preparation of misleading pie charts. It's not good enough, everyone. Come on, we've got to try harder. Hello? Hello? Email. The paperless office had arrived at last. The future seemed bright. Information moved more quickly. Everyone knew what was going on. Thanks to email, Educators hailed the return to the written word, but all was not what it seemed. A dark spectre began to haunt the email message. No one was quite prepared for the arrival of the emoticon. Have a nice day. So, here we are at the turn of the millennium, and digital culture is here to stay. Even from this remote dig, I can pay off my credit card, buy an antique, and search for extra-terrestrial intelligence. Huh? Wait! That noise! It can't be! No, that technology can't be that advanced! Oh my god! 